Hi to all the parents who want to make sure that the internet is safe for their children. Um, we know that many parents are not really keen on allowing their children free access to Google and to YouTube because they are unsavory content that is easily accessed by the children um, without even meaning to and without even looking for it, it sometimes is in their face. So we've had a look at a couple of things that you can do at home and a way that you can protect your, your internet browser from um, popping up with things that you don't want your kids to see. Firstly, we're going to look at the uh, Google platform and then we'll look at YouTube, how you can lock that. And then a really great um, website for kids to go and have a look at, a search engine that they can go and look at that makes sure that there's safe content on that um, search engine. So firstly, let's go across to our Google platform. You can have a look and see that I you need to be logged into Google. I've logged in as my own personal profile. Once you're logged into Google, go to google.com forward slash preferences. Um, preferences is fine. It'll come up with your search, safe search filters. These are your search settings. Ordinarily it wouldn't be ticked on, but you can tick it on. Um, it's just a toggle switch. And then once you've ticked that it's on, um, lock safe search. You'll be required to put your password in. And then you can lock the safe search. This now um, locks it across all Google domains. And you'll see that once you do searching, once you now go and search on, on Google, these colored balls will be present. That means safe search is on. Um, and you know it's on, it hasn't been um, taken off for any reason. Easy as that, once you go to YouTube, um, again, you're obviously logged in. If you go all the way down to the bottom of the screen, you'll see that there's restricted mode. You'll see that there's restricted mode. Just toggle it on. And then you've also got an option to lock restricted mode. So if you go to lock restricted mode, again, you have to sign in. This pre prevents the kids from being able to toggle it off. And now if you go down to the bottom, you'll see that restricted, let's go down to the bottom, you'll see restricted mode is on. And they can't unrestrict it unless, or unlock it unless you, they, can, they know your password. Um, so very simply, safe search, you go to google.com forward slash preferences and toggle it on and YouTube you go to the bottom and toggle it on. Then as we said there's a website safesearchkids.com it's a search browser um, really awesome whole bunch of bits and pieces the kids can go and play around with some really great articles for parents and for the kids themselves um, some explanation as to why um, the need for this um, what you can do it also explains to you how to search um, safe search on, on Google and so on that's I've just shown you um, some safety strategies really great site to have a look at and then obviously you can use it as a search engine so I put in elephants and this is what it comes up with okay um, you can search as images video all sorts of things um, all to do with ele elephants because that was my um, search okay and then you can go to all the various ones and you know that anything that comes up on the site is safe for kids and there we have it safe search for kids google youtube and then www.safesearchkids.com really great resources you can set a bookmark for safe search kids or you can actually set it as your home page so when your kids are accessing um, your computer at home it automatically pops up with that as opposed to popping up with google um, i did see briefly on the website that you can also make it as a mobile app for your phone um, so if the kids are searching on the internet on their phone you can actually set that as the home page as well which might be quite a good idea if they have their own cell phone Hope this helped.